He dangled reparations and elevated expectations. But who could have foretold how his decision would unfold? Well, just as I predicted on my other hit show called The One Plus Four. <laughs> Grease Bucket Gavin is a no on his state's $640 billion reparation scheme that was cooked up by some whacked out ass brain task force. Evidently, though, he's still a yes on applying hair gel with a putty knife. <laughs> I wonder, this could be an amazing strategy on his part. This could be an amazing strategy on the governor's <laughs> part. He commissions a report that the end is so hysterical that he, there's nothing you can do about it, and then he could just kind of push it up so it, nothing happens. No, there's no way this is happening. It's not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> Wow, that guy has brains and quads. <laughs> Which means it's time for... Hot Guy is Right Again. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Just hours after a prediction that would make Nostradamus pee his breeches, Newsom publicly declined to support reparations checks last night telling Fox News Digital that dealing with that legacy is about much more than cash payments. The Reparations Task Force independent findings and recommendations are a milestone in our bipartisan effort to advance justice and promote healing. This work must continue. Translation? <laughs> Sorry, blacks, no dice on the checks. Damn, I haven't seen someone that strung along since I dumped Taylor Swift. <laughs> Tyrus. Gee, I wonder why you went to me. Yeah, because you weren't here. We <laughs> talked about it yesterday. We didn't know you were here. Um, you got to give it to Gavin. Very clever white man. Clever? <laughs> I'm always clever. I, there was no fiscal feasible way to do yeah. what they wanted to do. But we need to be, this is where we get caught up. It didn't just end, okay? This task force, these people on it just fleece taxpayers for millions of dollars to come up with this idea that, oh, it doesn't work. One, you have to prove who was, and there's not a lot of records from slavery. Right. Then you gotta figure out who actually gets the money. You could be white now, could have been black then. You could have been on the wrong side of the fence. That's right, interbreeding, a lot of it. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> Anybody with curly hair in the audience, you need to check your family tree. <laughs> I don't do 34 and L because I don't want any more kids, but, <laughs> but there's no way of knowing where to pay, and it's not, reparations was never about money. It was about opportunity. Yeah. And the reason why it was 40 acres and a mule, because at the time, the job of the day was farming. Yeah. So what a better way to get an opportunity to build wealth, pass it down to your family, and take care of yourself. Reparations about opportunity, and we have that in this country. My reparations is right here. Keep your check. There you go. Well said. Cat. Very clever Caucasian to convene a task force and then let the insane plan come forward and then punt. I would do the same thing, would you? I just don't see how you can call it a task force. Mm -hmm. What's the task? <laughs> yeah. They just sit around and come up with stuff that would be nice if it were possible, but it's definitely not. Yeah. That's a job. It is. <laughs> it Millions is. Millions of taxpayer that dollars. That is a job, California. and they, people pay for you to do that. Right, it's And true. I'm sure they get a lot of lunches, too. They sure get that was also a catered meeting. Galas, yeah, yeah, parties, there was a catered hotels. Meeting. There was a happy hour afterward that started at like 4 p.m. <laughs> yes. Fundraising. Yeah, it's because it's not possible at all, but it sucks because for me, when I have a meeting mm -hmm. about I have to figure out the thing that I was supposed to figure out, and he was like, great job, everyone. This is completely impossible, but I'm very proud of you. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. I want that work environment. Yeah, me too. Well, I mean, we do. We we kind of do our own thing here, where we talk about stuff and get nothing done. Yeah, yeah. but you don't tell a joke for Great one second. No punchline. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't understand how this was a great job if none of it's possible. Or maybe maybe he's covering it for himself because maybe he actually wasn't listening. He didn't read the report. He's kind of like, I'm tired today. I don't feel like it. And then he read it. He was like, What? I think. KT, that's a possibility, but also he wants to run for office. Yeah. And he needed to push this off his desk. 
go as fast as he could because he's managed to alienate everybody, right? So he's he dangles the reparations, and now so many people think, oh, I'm going to get a million point, one and a half million dollars for just being somehow a descendant of somebody, as you point out, who knows what the family tree is. Mm -hmm. And A, he got them mad because he's raised their expectations. Mm -hmm. When he said it, anybody with a brain starts doing the math and says, hmm, hundreds of billions of dollars, a trillion dollars, I'm a taxpayer in California, I'm out of here. And so they've all left and they've gone to other states. And so now he's got everybody mad. The, the people who pay the taxes have left. The people who think they're gonna get the money are not gonna get the money. Right. And here's Gavin Newsom thinking, I'm going to ride this right into the White House because if Joe Biden doesn't make it, I'm standing by with my terrific plan where I've been so good to everybody. But, you know, can you imagine he'll get eviscerated in yes. any kind of a debate? No, he can't. He, he's between a rock and a hard place. A phrase I just coined. Joe, <laughs> Joe, I think what they did is they replaced, like reparations is another way of saying damages. And I'm sure that you have been damaged in your life many times from assorted people, women, probably lots of women. Uh, you probably spent a lot of your uh, teenage and childhood alone. Um, <laughs> I imagine that there, you feel like you might deserve reparations. I've broke some hearts too, Greg. Um, you mean at the heart store? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you have to pay for them because you broke them? What was the question? <laughs> Do you foresee that anything with damages, anything that has damaged you can get reparations because they're the same thing, aren't they? You know, Greg, uh, uh, all the things that have happened to me have made me uh, stronger. Like when, when a woman breaks my heart, I'm stronger for it. That's why I refuse to exercise. But I'll say this, if you're going to cut me a six or seven figure check, I'll say I'm black faster than Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> but nice. it could be. Yeah, uh, it could be. I'll be, I'll, I'll be found out uh, when they find out I didn't vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.